Welcome to this video presentation on surgical treatments of Zenker diverticulum by extended myotomy and diverticulectomy, performed by Professor Marcello Migliore in Catania University Hospital. This is the case of a 64 year old uh, uh, man presented with a typical symptom of this uh, rare but life uh, limiting uh, condition. So he was uh, prescribed this esophageal study which uh, revealed uh, the hypopharyngeal diverticulum at the back of the esophagus. So the treatment options are endoscopic or open surgery, but open surgery offers a less uh, uh, risk of recurrence. Therefore, we offer the diverticulectomy by open surgery with an incision that starts uh, on the medial margin of the sternocleidomastoid, 5-6 cm incision, and in the same direction of the muscle. The dissection continue uh, over the platysma and deeper over the margin of the sternocleidomastoid muscle, which is retracted uh, at the bottom of the screen. And uh, we go deeper, isolating the homohydal muscle, which needs to be divided in order to find the Zenger diverticulum. Now we are almost over the prevertebral fascia. And usually the Zenker diverticulum can be found lying over the prevertebral fascia at the back of the esophagus. Now the dissection is required in order to free the diverticulum for this, from the surrounding tissues and adhesions and reach the neck of the diverticulum. This is uh, some tissue which is uh, then divided with the uh, ultrasonic uh, scalpel. The pathophysiology of the Zenker diverticulum uh, is uh, related to an uncoordinated uh, contraction of the hypopharyngeal musculature. Therefore, it is important to prevent a recurrence uh, the myotomy. This is the lower constrictor of the pharynx. So the diverticulum was uh, between the lower constrictum on the, of the pharynx and the uh, cricopharyngeal uh, muscle. Usually the muscle itself uh, is normal, but um, the pathogenesis of the disease uh, is due to uh, uncoordination between uh, uh, these muscles. And uh, the posterior wall of uh, the esophagus uh, herniates into a diverticulum in a point of less uh, resistance. You've seen the myotomy of the inferior constrictor of the pharynx, and this is the myotomy of the cricopharyngeal muscle. These are the three different types of uh, hypopharynx uh, diverticulum. And here we are taking a biopsy of the muscle, which is actually usually uh, normal. This is the section of uh, addition surrounding the Zenker diverticulum, which is uh, needed in order to reach uh, the neck of the, of the diverticulum. And we are here almost ready to pass a stapler on the base of the diverticulum. Extending now the myotomy inferiorly on the musculature of the esophagus itself, and uh, we think this should reduce the risk of uh, recurrence. These images are mm, taken from the ESTS uh, textbook of thoracic surgery. Now we are ready to um, stapler the diverticulum with the automatic uh, uh, tripod stapler and uh, completed uh, with the ultrasonic scalp. We now extend uh, the myotomy uh, farther, as uh, there is uh, some more room for the dissection after the diverticulum is delivered. The procedure was uh, an hour long. The stamp will be tested in a second underwater as we ask the anesthetist to retract the NG tube into the esophagus and uh, inject air into the esophagus. And uh, the test uh, will be uh, negative. Additionally, over the stamp, uh, we left uh, a patch to reinforce the suture line. The patients restarted uh, 
uh, fluids on the second postoperative day and uh, food on the third postoperative day when he was ready to go home. And this is the esophageal study after the operation. Thank you very much for your time and attention.